Hello and welcome to episode 50, Greddy. We finally made it to half a century. Yay. Yes, well, yeah, yes. We're actually surprised we've uh, not only persevered with each of us <laughs> for this long, but <laughs> we haven't persevered. So I suppose it's a little bit of a, um, a celebratory celebration. We will release this episode on all of the channels. So this will come out on the Octopus's channel. This has come on Grumpy Greedy's channel and also the podcast channel as well. So make sure you slink across to all three channels and check it out. And um, you've been a bit busy today, Grumpy Greedy. That's what I've been told. We're on the ocean floor. Yes, I have, which is why, you know, I was running a bit late to do our recording because I've been out garage sailing because it only ever happens here once a year, pretty much. Everyone, nobody has garage sales here. And then they do a whole town garage sale once a year. So I've been out running around buying stuff. Nice. And what was the highlight of the garage sale? I know last year that you did your own garage sale. But oh, quite yes, I did. Yes. Well, this is the first year I've actually, since they've been doing it, this is actually the first year I've gone around as a buyer because every other year I've actually had my own garage sale. So, yeah, it was quite interesting. So I'm going to say the highlight for me was probably the book haul I got, which was the what were, was one lot of people trying to really actually get rid of all their deceased mother's books and so I just I felt like a real reseller I just walked up and looked at the table and I said how much for the lot and she went oh fifty dollars and I went oh and she went twenty dollars and I went yep that's good thank you <laughs> well you're not really a real book reseller unless you put them on Instagram because that's what I'm finding a lot that all these all these all these in one particular in in mind but they put it on Instagram and for some reason I just I can't get my head around it. Yeah, they put something on there, so they paid three dollars and they're fifteen dollars with free postage and all these different things. It just infuriates me to no belief. So fifteen dollars free post? Ooh, no. Mm, yeah, so all no, these ones. And, and like, like I said, books, books are the ones that really do my head in. But I, I'll tell you what, Granny, this is why we can't <laughs> have nice things. But Minion J, I let him out on day release for once, and he's picking fights in the reselling community. And this is what uh, not again. <laughs> Oh, that's right. Well, it's not me this time. It's Minion J. Like, like I said, he was trying yeah. to trying to help someone out. So last night, we do have some um, photographic evidence that I may or may not bring up. So I don't know. <laughs> I, might, I probably will bring it up for our international audience. Um, Minion J was trying to help in his own way, I dare say. Um, and I suppose what happened was that the person didn't particularly like um, what Minion J had to say about his product and blocked well, him. <laughs> is it perhaps, yeah, perhaps uh, I'm going to suggest Minion J probably uh, was very straightforward in his way of helping and just said mm. it as it is and no fluff. Well, that's right. Yeah, so you keep talking and what I'll do is I'll actually bring up the and, uh, listing of yeah, eBay. So I might as well just... Yeah, just throw it up. I just don't think people... People don't want to hear what they don't want to hear and they don't know how to accept help. No, and that's right. Well, not help from people they don't want to hear help from. And I think we've spoken <laughs> about this numerous times. Yeah. <laughs> we've spoken about this numerous times before is where people, and I think Minion J has a problem with this, right? So the way that I look at reselling groups on Facebook and all these different things, and I have said previously I don't go in them anymore because they just infuriate me. Um, yeah, they turn this beautiful bright orange head quite red uh, from anger. But I thought, well, I'll let Minion J on day release and you can have a look at all these different things. But what it is, I think where I separate things, I'm very business-minded and I want to help people from the business perspective. But I suppose I look at those Facebook groups as such, like yeah, a very um, yeah. an idea where you can actually go in there and ask questions or ask clarification, not so much a, like a pissing group where you go, hey, look at this, look at what I found, and all these different things. That's what Instagram's for. There's a guy in Adelaide that's actually yeah. Yeah, quite on top of that, so he can actually <laughs> run over on that. Um, but what it really comes down to is that it's an Australian, I suppose the, the Facebook group is the Australian resellers, I think of what it is, or, or something along that. So this this individual yeah. put in a um, a foot rot's flat cup. So this is the cup in question, and I'll get across yeah. to there in a second. So he did put this you know, cup in saying how fantastic. Don't, don't usually post my finds. Sometimes I can't believe what people pay for things. Foot rot flat mugs from garage sales. Some comp, sold comps speak for themselves. So... <laughs> First thing of first rule of uh, Fight Club is they actually put the sold comp screenshot in the in the <laughs> in, in the little 
Facebook yeah, group as well. I, so I was wondering where that was. Is that in there as well, yeah. is it? No, it's not. So I had to actually go looking for oh. myself. And I actually, which, you know, which is, you know, Minion J Strike 1, I suppose. So what I'll do is I'll actually bring up um, the sold comps that I actually found. Yeah, because, I mean, I know fit, Foot Rot Flats, as far as the books go, do sell reasonably well. Hmm. So that can, always, that can have yeah. a bit of value. Yeah, so always look for the, the later ones. I think from 24, 25, 26, the later ones. And generally, it's the same with a lot of book series that I've found, especially like Goosebumps and all these different things. And I know before I've said, I won't tell you bolos and all these different things. But <laughs> when 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 a you know, a book or a, um, you know, like a, a, a comic strip such as Football Rock Flats and all these different things comes to the end, their audience is waning. So they're not printing as many yeah. copies out there, right? So realistically... Uh, maybe the first 10 would just flooded the market because every man and their dog wanted to read it. Yeah. Um, but then, when, like I said, when they got to 25, 26, 27, or whatever, however many volumes it went to, uh, their, their, their consumer base must have diminished quite considerably. So they didn't yes. print as many. So that's generally what you need to look out for. So this Correct. is, I finally found the screenshot. I'll even agree with so you on is, that. And that and that is gen, that is a general rule of thumb when it does come to books, regardless of what the series are. The later books, mm. there will be less and less books printed. And so now they start to become scarce if they're, you know, getting on a bit. Well, the, right. the sold comps are pretty good, aren't they, really? Well, well, that's right. So generally speaking, right, so if we go into any of these cops, um, they're like new, all these different things. So they're almost pristine, right? So th this is my little bugbear of the day. Um, <laughs> so Minion J, um, in his infinite wisdom, decides to, you know, assist this guy and give him a little bit of a help um, in regards to his coffee cup, and we will bring it up now just to be a complete pain in the ass. And, you know, <laughs> what comes around and goes around. Uh, so this is this is the, um, the the mug in question. So hopefully he is watching, so I can get my uh, take two of my <laughs> <laughs> my swipe at him. So what what happened is he actually put this down as very good. Um, and if you go down here, uh, it's basically saying oh, he's, condition is very good. So last night he did have a change. He must have changed it a little bit in the sense of saying that there was no faults and there was no chips or anything in this in this thing. And what I actually said to him, and you know, we'll get to the comments in a section. Second. Um, is that, yeah, there's all these little chips. There's paint chips yes. there. Yeah, there's obviously um, the pho photography is pretty bad. I'm not going to, you know, yeah. if you're selling yes, a $200. I mean, it's hard copy. to tell whether that red is the glare from the, you know, photography or whether it, the red, that mm. is actually a bit of worn off stuff. But, yeah. That's right. Oh, it, it's, I think that's the, the reflection of the light for the L, but definitely in the other yeah. sections. You can see there's and there's a bit, another little bit of chip paint off there and a bit over that side. Well, that's right. Yeah. Yeah, so, you know, it's well and truly falls – to me, I would I probably list this as good to acceptable, right? And nowhere near very good. Um, you know, like there's chips down here and all these different things. So, yeah. <laughs> so you know, very, very, very far away from uh, yeah, very good Yeah, photos do with being. a bit of improvement too, I must say. Well, that's right. So basically... Sorry. Up, you're saying, yeah. yeah, very good condition. So if we go to the next screenshot, ready? We have to, she has right. to control the mouse because she's got it under. I got... Minion J got blocked, and, and by extension, I got blocked as well. So I can't actually take a screenshot of this. <laughs> so <laughs> here we go. We're just going to dig it in. So I pretty much had Minion J, right? You might want to have a look at your description and conditions. I can see chips and blemishes all over it. So, you know, Forrest flips online. Uh, Forrest finds online and did his little laughing react. And a lot of other comments as well. So you've got other people saying, yeah, I agree with Minion J. It's not very good con condition, not even remotely. Uh, waiting for an iNet with that sort of asking price. And that's exactly right. So this is what it comes down to, right? Is you're actually, these mugs are being snapped up by collectors. Yeah, yeah he okay. may have only paid oh, a couple of dollars. There, there's, there's your, all the responses to your that's comments. Right. So, mm. Yeah, so Minion J said, don't you have some ill-tempered fruit to harass? <laughs> Which uh, <laughs> might be uh, in reference to a, another Australian reseller on YouTube, if you, if you can get that connection. Um, but Christian said he'll give the fruit a break over the weekend. But, yeah, so people, like, obviously, if we can scroll into the next one. So, uh, Tori there, so basically the uh, Geelong Flipper putting his two cents in with. Um, I can see something awesome listen. that you found. Well done. Wow, yeah. dude, find something cool and all I see is nitpicking. I guess you guys all had the same mug. Oh, you don't. Oh, dear. Yeah, so I'm going, to, I'm, going to take a, I'm going to take a swipe at the Geelong Flipper here as well. Is that, This is the kind of bullshit, and we can say that now because we're on episode 50, is that 
feeds the community, right? Where, mm -hmm. like I'm saying, is that there's nothing wrong with saying, hey, look, yeah, fantastic. Yeah, and this is not the point of what Minion Jay was saying, right? I wasn't trying to take him down a peg and say all these different things. When you are marketing something that is like new or very good condition, I don't particularly care. You look off what eBay's description is, not what your own thoughts are and all these different yes. things. So he pretty much came back to me and said he sold 1,500 things on eBay. He knows better. <laughs> well, uh, buddy, don't go check how many things I've sold on eBay because you might be in for a bit of a surprise. But uh, I, I agree with Sarah because there's actually a lot of low-key um, resellers on YouTube in this in this little group that obviously here as well. So you really, really, really need to take into consideration what people are talking about. You know, like, like I said, that... Minion Jay can be blunt straight to the point because I don't have time or he doesn't have time to basically you know, do all the niceties and say high fives and, you know, holy shit, you've got you know, a fantastic find there and all these different things. Um, there's a chip in my shoulder. Uh, good luck with the negative feedback. Never heard of you. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit, a bit spicy there. But, yes. but like I was saying is that this is what you need to take into consideration, right? So when you come to these kind of groups, you should be using it as a... a um, an opportunity to grow, an opportunity to learn all these different things. Mm. If you can't talk to another person on Facebook with, you know, basically, you know, I could have been a customer and, you know, it, it could have been me just being, you know, for lack of a better term, a prick, go into his eBay account, yes. buy that cup, open an eye out and leave a negative feedback just to prove a point. But <laughs> mm. I kind of got over well, it I mean, before then. But yeah. I mean, you've only got to look at, like, I mean, take notice of some of the comments. Like Sarah said, waiting for an eye net. <laughs> <laughs> that's case right. for that sort of asking price exactly and then the next person says i mean you can't deny there are chips to the paint that's pretty obvious and that's right that's that becomes the thing because it's all about you describing it and it happens with books all the time i see it with books all the time but they haven't they're not selling for you know that sort of value where people are putting them and saying that they're you know worth you know hurly amounts of money huge amounts of money and that's fine if they want to sell them try and sell them for that but well, then you, you are you're asking to get an inet which is an item not as described for the boys and girls that don't know and that's yeah, your that's buyer can put that because you've said it's very good condition and that's not actually very good condition it, people see there's a difference people often do it with books They'll say, oh, it's good for its age. And I saw a couple of comments about saying that about that cup. It's good for its age. Well, yeah, it probably is, but it's not very good condition. Being good for its mm. age probably means that it's in maybe good or acceptable condition. Yeah, so, well, he's actually got it listed as a book for starters. So he's... <laughs> <laughs> what? Um, yeah, yeah, I just went and sold similar. So what I've done here is I'm actually ah. just going to flow... Throw across on the screen. And this is, I want to kind of get to the point um, of what the basis of this episode is. It's not just, you know, Minion J taking swipes at this guy because he's a knob. Um, but what it comes down to, right? So he's got it down as very good. And this is, I've pretty much yeah. just sold, sell, sell similar off his listing. So he's actually got it listed in the book category. Um, in the book this category. Kind of item, this kind of item I would have done as the coffee cup that obviously, yeah. depending on his buy in, um, I would have added, I would have just paid the six cents just to add it to the, the comic mm. category. Um, just as it like an extra, yeah, look, yeah, put that brand out there a little bit further. Uh, so he's got it down as a, a book that does not look new but has been read and is in excellent condition. No obvious damage to the cover, we'll call the cover the, the print <laughs> or mm -hmm. the dust jacket with a dust jacket if included. So, what it really comes down to, um, if he's going off books, a book with obvious wear may have some, some damage to the cover, but the integrity is still intact. The body might be slight. Yes. So from the pictures that we basically looked at, uh, he's looking at acceptable. Like, you know, if mm. I, especially, you know, it's, it's a very poor looking book to me for the first point. But... <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, if you think you're buying a book and you buy the coffee mug by mistake, you're not getting what you think you're getting. Yeah, that's well, weird. Well, that, 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 well, that's exactly right. That's another one that we never really took into consideration. Mm. You're actually not even selling in the proper category. So if you're using the keywords properly, you know, using foot rock flats, you're using Murray Ball, I think was the author, yep. um, using dog, using, you know, uh, I can't remember the, the, the sheep station master's name, all these different, well, Wallace, I think it was, but you're pretty much using all these different keywords. That should automatically pick up people that have foot rot flats. Yes, um, exactly. So it should automatically come up. You don't need to do all those different things. But like <laughs> I was saying, he is, he is similar to what I would have done. I would have basically put it in a coffee cup or other merchandise, mm. like animation merchandise or something along to that because it was a movie as well. Um, yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. Yeah, but I mean, there is a section for 
specifically for coffee cups and they're that sort of thing. Like they're actually coffee cups, you know, that mm. are got characters on them or, you know. Yeah, and, and, and I'm pretty sure one of the item specifics say, you yeah, know, movie and, yeah, you know, character mm. and all these different things. And like I said, that you know, the keywords in the in the title, all these different things. So this guy, like, he's even lost more of my respect after even after blocking me and Jay and Sarah <laughs> Because you know how how dare you you know question this one particular person's you know stance and his point of view all these different things and like I said it's nothing to do with that it just really really made me ropeable last night when Minion J came in crying that he'd been blocked by this guy on the internet <laughs> and begging begging Grammy Granny to go and get the screenshots for him because now well, he was right. blocked. <laughs> yes well that's exactly right so this is what it comes down to but. I suppose what it comes down to, and what I want to talk a little bit about this episode is actually customer service. Oh, I know the locker, boy, the locker room, the locker room boys talked about this in their podcast earlier in the week. I haven't watched it, so if it might overlap. Uh, apologies in advance, but what it really comes down to is that me as a reseller, and I, I won't say I'm the most successful reseller, but I do, you know, a little bit of reselling, probably more you than this guy. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I, I treat it in the sense that, you know, like the customers come first, the money will follow. That's my mentality, right? Yeah. So basically you focus on the customer service, you build a reputation. Obviously, if you're not picking fights with imaginary people on, on Facebook, <laughs> especially <laughs> heaven yeah. forbid your um your your opinion differs to the to to a degree. Um yeah. but but what it really does is you, know, you really need to you know fix an issue in the market. And I suppose that's the way you should be running your business, right? So you might be you might be thrifting, you might be doing garage sales and all these different things. You're fixing the issue in the market and by the sense of sourcing mm. those things. So you need to look at it from a perspective is that if you were in love with foot, lock, foot rock flats or if you're in love with Seeking Master System games or if you're in love with board games, which I've got here where I've listed as well, how would you like that to arrive? And that's, I think, yeah. from my perspective, collectors do really well in reselling because they have that really mm -hmm. high, you know, that expectation of what they would want to receive and you know obviously that the, exactly. the, the rule um you know that you really 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 need to focus on that because once your reputation's gone you're shot like yeah. <laughs> so yeah oh, absolutely absolutely and it doesn't matter what you're selling if you're not mm. actually portraying it as it is and that's one of the big things that we say over and over it you'll hear everyone every youtuber that talks about reselling will tell people to show it as it is. And, you know, one of the big key things, even when we were in that group, you remember that group we were in mm. Octo for a while that we got kicked I was, out I was actually watching, um, I was actually watching, <laughs> I was watching a video that the guy that fought with us this morning. <laughs> uh, um, shout out to Isaiah. The, hey, mate, how are you going? Yeah, hi, Isaiah. Hi, Isaiah. Not, <laughs> not talking to you, Isaiah. Um, actually, I, do, I enjoyed his video. Uh, <laughs> No, I wouldn't watch it out of principle. Because um, one of the big things that they do in there is talk about the photography side of things and mm. how to manipulate, if you, especially if you're using an iPhone, because if you're using an iPhone and you're photographing clothing in particular and you haven't got the right background, you are going to get colours that are going to show up differently to what they are in real life. And that's just asking for an iron ad. And, and that's something that they do go into quite a bit. And... Uh, you know, they show, they talk about how to manipulate that, which I have done as well. Um, so, boys and girls, if you need to know that, go back and watch some of my videos. I've talked about it numerous times. Mm. And, um, yeah, because it's really important to show the item as it is. That's right. And, and, I, and I think I've said numerous times before is that I actually downgraded a couple of times. You know, unless it's brand new and factory sealed and there's no blemishes altogether. Um, if it, like, for example, this, board game on the left of me here uh, i've listed that as brand new and i've outlined that it's yeah there's some flaws and there's some defects with the box yeah some box deviation and all these different things um but you know if for that coffee cup for example a i would lift it list it in its proper category <laughs> and second i would basically put it as acceptable then when someone that receives yeah. it they actually receive a better product that they're actually expecting yes opposed yeah. to the other way around and i've said this before about my skylanders you know i will update the photos on a new like a, on a regular basis and probably graphic Grady does the same with her book variation listings um yeah if you get the same yep. character or you get the same book if the new book comes in and it's worse i'll take photos of that one so basically uh -huh. people are you know, using that as the benchmark 
And when they actually have their book or their Skylander arrive, it's fantastic condition. They're like, yeah, look at my feedback. You know, my yeah. feedback's you know, my stores in the in the description of the, in the video. You're more than welcome to have a look across and go. That's what you should be aspiring for. Is that you know this is fantastic yeah. or you know you know don't pick fights with people on, on Facebook group on Facebook groups just because they hurt your feelings about your photography skills, which was shit. <laughs> yeah, true. But I, look, I do want to say when you are talking to Minion Jay. Like, mm. honestly, it's time he learned his lesson after this one. I mean, you've been blocked. And I, as you know, I rarely go in the, those Facebook groups anymore because it, over and over again you try to help but people won't take your advice unless you're praising them up and saying, wow, 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 okay, do this, do that, do this. But, like, if they're asking a question and you try to tell them, you know, that's not how you should do it, you should do it this way, because, you know, that's not correct. They don't want to hear it. Mm. And I just found that's it too it. frustrating. It was too bad for my blood pressure. Well, that's right. Well, I'm, I'm going to actually get him to come atone for his sins because I'll um, I'll yell out to him and get him to come over. Minya J! Right, <laughs> oh, oh, he's going to get Minya J. Well, that'll be fun, won't it? I don't know about that. Oh, hang on. Yeah. He's on the wrong side. What <laughs> do we have a hierarchy <laughs> I'm not uh, sure if we have a hierarchy here because um, – Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so needless to say um, – So when are you going to learn your lesson and not go back into the Facebook groups? Oh, so this is the thing. I was trying to, like, you know, split my day out a little bit more, you know, obviously doing the, the Octopus's eBay listing, doing the the uh, eBay listings for the, the resident vampire that we've got under, underground. Yeah, decided to take some work-life balance and, you know, slip into the Facebook groups because it just popped up in my feed. Um uh, yeah, like I said, that yeah, like, and I've said numerous times, right? Like, if I write to people or if I say things, yeah, it's straight to the point, right? I don't have time yeah. for niceties. I'm not, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not, yeah, you know, taking, yeah, you know, not trying to take, yeah, you know, skin off you or anything <laughs> along to that, or you know, be a party pooper. But you really, really, really need to take both sides of the agreement. Like, they, they, so, they, <laughs> take both sides of the, you know, the argument. So say, like, you know, like the John Clipper, you know, as much as I love him and watch him and all these different things, he's only feeding to that, yeah. you know, that mentality yeah. and all these different things. And, yeah, on the flip side, um, so I actually spoke to, you know, Sarah a little bit earlier as well because she also has a, a, a bit of a social media presence as well. And, you know, he blocked her and her husband as well because he didn't agree with that groupthink thing. And we've said numerous times, like, yeah, stay yeah. away from groupthink. If people are telling you how fantastic you are, you're in the wrong area. You're never going to build your yeah. business. You know, you build your business by people telling yeah. you what's wrong with it. And that's what I've been – that's my motto for the last 20 years in regards to my working life, right? When people go – you know, when it comes to the performance review, oh, you done this wrong. Oh, no, you did this right. You did this right. I don't care. You, yeah. you don't need to feed my ego. You don't need to do all these different things. What have I done wrong? What can I improve? Yeah. Yeah. Tell, tell me in the areas you can improve. Yeah. Well, that's right. Like, like, that's exactly right. I don't particularly care how good I am or how good you think I am. What do I need to focus on? And this is the same yeah. thing with, with eBay and reselling and business and all these different things. Like, find a mentor, find someone that actually will, you know, challenge your ideas. Like, with that photo, that that photo, and I'm pretty sure that it's gone. I don't have access to it anymore. But it was completely shit. Yeah. It, was, <laughs> like it the, was not the, a good. Lighting. It was not a good photo. No. No, and like like I said, that you know we could have easily had some words. You know, he could have just sent me a message and say, "Hey, look, I don't particularly like the way you yeah you're bringing me down." And we could have said, "Hey, look, I'm not bringing you down. I'm trying to improve you mm. as a business runner. Right? I'm a business owner." And I've said numerous times, and the octopus has you know, beaten it into me as well. I've got all these lacerations up my arms I can't show you. But <laughs> <laughs> that, you know, you shouldn't be really staying stationary on, on eBay, right? You should be building, like, you know, yourself, Granny. You, you know, you're moving into other channels. You're moving into being a recording artist. You're moving into, you know, reading and all the, You're branching further around to YouTube and all these different yes. things. So further down the, right, the line, you're actually building multiple sources of income. Um, mm. You know, I have no problem with people doing ebay you know for a side hobby or just doing things for their own hey i want a little bit of play money or i want to go to a japan trip or something like that but what i find is all the people that i see on facebook groups and all these different things they want to be the next tech and sports right they want to be the next back from yeah. burnout they want to be the next geelong flipper aussie flipper all these things and even even that new aussie the real aussie flipper i don't know who that guy is but yeah I'm sure he's a, yeah he's, the real he's, Oh, yeah, the real Aussie flipper. Mm. <laughs> yeah, so I'm actually is quite he, impressed by that. Is though. he the real Aussie flipper? Mm. Well, well I heard 
Yeah, I heard a rumor the other night. Friday, uh, fr- yeah, Friday night that he actually might be the real Octo. <laughs> no, it could be. Well, that's right. I wouldn't yeah. be surprised. Anyone could be at this stage. Because they're both but- peachy coloured. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Um, oh, you're frozen. Minion J, you're frozen. So I don't know whether I'm on here talking all on my own or whether I've frozen and no, he's frozen. No, I haven't frozen. Mm. So I did have fun at the garage sales, though, boys and girls, and uh, I bought some sealed DVD sets. Uh, what else did I buy? Some old books. How about that? Surprise, surprise. And I did buy some denim articles of clothing. And uh, you might need to remove yourself out of there, Minion Jay. And, um, oh, Oops, yes, he's I'm actually back. Re- you're back. back. We're both back. Imagine paying, what were we paying, like $40, $50 a month for StreamYard for a service that doesn't actually even work. <laughs> look, I know. Oh, look, it's just, it. oh. it's, a lot, of, even a lot of the law tubers and that, you know, because they're streaming, you know, trying to stream mm. four, five, mm. six hour long, you know, court trials. Yes. And this sort of mm. stuff's happening to them all the time. You know, it's terrible. Yeah, that's insane. I'm going to I'm have to edit this video now. It's going to kill me. Um, <laughs> but what I'm saying is that, you know, the, the, I, I hold no ill will about, you know, people, I, I suppose I've got more respect for people that actually know what they want out of their business opposed to just jumping in the business and being told what they want for their business, if that makes sense. Yeah. But, um, and I didn't like, like I said, I did fall into that trap previously where I would jump. Yeah. Like I said, I jumped to jeans and I jumped to all these different things, but then I kind of think to myself, well, I don't enjoy photographing jeans. I don't enjoy doing all these different things. So, but now I've gone back to my, the stuff that I enjoy Mm. I'm getting, you know, it's taking me less time because I know how to list it. I know exactly those niches, so I know what collectors are looking for, um, and I'm making more profit. And like I said, the street, I'm oh, sorry, the flipwise stuff that I show on a Friday night. Like I said, it's really, really, <laughs> it's one thing that yeah. triggers me. So, yeah, oh, yeah. So. Yeah. Oh, look, you know, look, it's one of the joys of what we do, as you know, out there, YouTube personalities doing talking about reselling that we yeah we i guess we present the stuff and and people can take it or leave it but when you're posting in the facebook groups <laughs> it's a different thing because they just automatically seem to want to fight with you so mm. yeah and, and i think like and i think we're pretty much low-key in the sense because you know I, I don't consider us well don't consider myself a youtube you know personality in any, any capacity right i just really enjoy coming on here and you know i don't know oh i you know, do everyone's <laughs> everyone's got their own opinion but but like i said if you if yeah i could have probably worded a little bit softer in the sense of saying hey look i just checked your listing out done all these different things but why would i want to expend my energy you know ex- doing all those different things so i just thought i'd jump in there make a quick observation say hey look maybe you might yeah. want to relook at what you've got it's chipped you know don't market it as being pretty much brand new yeah your brother looks like he has he has changed the wording around a little bit, which is good. Yeah, and like I said, I don't particularly care. I was a bit frustrated oh. last night after being blocked. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Not, yeah. Not that I hold grudges, but... Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I've but, decided that I'm actually... I have decided that now I am officially a YouTuber reseller, not a reseller oh, YouTuber. Really? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I have. So yeah. I, I think... Now that... Well, me, now that Let's Read Granny channel has sort of taken off... A lot of the videos yeah. over there have taken off a bit, you see. So I figure, I mean, I'm not going to get any income from that yet, but it will happen one day. <laughs> but I just, I just figure, like, you know, you know, doing all these things on YouTube and doing animations and making the mm. octopus dance and dressing him in mobster outfits and all sorts of things. And, um, yeah, so I've decided that I am officially, yeah. Just, sort of just a, an, un, an unpaid intern by the sounds of it. Yes, exactly, but, um, something like that. <laughs> yeah, but, but what it really comes down to is, you know, do whatever you need to do to get to your own goals. Because I can, I would hazard to guess, and please by all, if you did get past my tirade of, you know, me whinging and carrying on, you know, and calling this one particular guy a dickhead because he is a dickhead, right? <laughs> I'm standing on a hill and I'm not coming down. But if, <sighs> even the dogs next door agree with me, but, um 
but put it in the comment section below if you've actually got a goal of what you want to do with reselling. Yeah, you know, it might be a case of paying off debt or it might be a case of going on a holiday or an extra $100 a fortnight or $100 a week or $100 a month and all these different things. But what I find personally is that a lot of YouTube people or a lot of YouTube, um, especially the newer people in the space, I'm not I'm not saying you know any dirt or anyone, but it always seems to me, and we, we did mention this on Friday night as well, is that people do YouTube first, they tack on reselling second. They haven't been mm. reselling for any capacity of time. They don't know how to resell. They don't know what they want out of reselling. But hey, I'm going to create a YouTube channel and you know, start shooting stuff out and go, hey, you need to look for this or you need to go to the op shops and look for this. And then you look at their 30-day total, uh, their 90-day total, and they've got two grand, oh, three grand. Well, hang on. Things. How many actually show that? Well, again, well, I guess they do. They show their, uh, their total income that they've received from it but they don't yeah. actually show the expenses that are taken out of it. Yeah, and, and like I said, I don't particularly care. Like, yeah, it's if they market themselves as that, hey, look, yeah, this is Grumpy Granny's journey of how to do reselling. Yeah, and then basically you're going to do the trials and tribulations or whatever it is. But as soon as you move into that mouthpiece and saying, hey, look, Granny, you're disadvantaged and I'm going to help you. And I'm not, <laughs> Graham, I'm not dragging anyone in. <laughs> like, I know who Graham's probably, I know who Graham's probably thinking of, but I'm being a generalist. I'm not talking about mm. anyone in particular. But when you turn into a mouthpiece for trying to tell people how to, you know, improve their life or generate yeah. extra income and you're not, in a place where you should be doing that per se, you're only making yeah. you know three, four, five thousand dollars over a ninety day period. Uh, or likewise, and flip, flip that around, and I might be talking about someone, Graham, if you if you weren't listening now. When you say <laughs> that you do twenty, when when you say you do twenty thousand dollars a month in sales, but you need to put a profit margin. And like I said numerous times, and my my flipwise, if you catch on a Friday night the live, I'll actually show you what the flipwise is. So that's actually yeah. when you take the cost of goods out, when you take the you know, and I haven't taken tax and GST out, so you do need to take that component out. But yeah. The, everything so basically the, yeah. the pure profit after everything has come out except for the tax and gst um that's what i'm left at right so i'm looking looking yeah. about i'm hopefully working full time and trying to minimize reselling in the sense that it's more streamlined and i'm getting more out of it right so i'm not yes not like i said before i was working almost probably worse than minimum wage because i was punching 80 hours yeah. a week for you know for probably oh, two grand yeah. profit yeah. And uh, but now I'm going to try and move that across to go. Okay, hey, look, can I get it to under five hours a week mm. and make a thousand dollars profit a week from that? Yeah. Perspective? So and that's what I'm going to try and flick it around. Yeah. So yeah. I mean, uh, I definitely would say. I mean, per hour wise, I mean, I've not, I haven't worked at my hourly rate for quite some time, but I dare say, like, you know, I do put a lot more hours into this than uh, what I would if I went and had a job per se and got paid but then reselling suits me so well because you know I do have back issues and stuff and some days I wouldn't actually be able to go to work so I wouldn't earn any money so you know and things take me about yeah. a little bit longer just because of that the mobility stuff and you know if you're having a bad back day or you've been garage sailing all morning and your back's a bit sore yeah, that's right. And, and yeah, going back to our beloved Peach, you know, the, the real Aussie reseller, um, he released a video yesterday. He's quit his job, right? So basically, <laughs> worst attempt at clickbait ever. So Peachy, if you do, <laughs> you do need to change your clickbait up. Um, but he made a valid point, right? And this is something that I've said numerous times before is that if you don't like where you work, work somewhere that you do like. You know, the yeah. reselling should be the really, really, really last resort, right? Because, you know, like I said, we can go into statistics, we can go into bell curves and all these different things. Like I, can, I can't be yeah. brutally honest as much as that, for example, because a lot of people, and this is my diatribe and my rant, a lot of people jump on YouTube, they watch this, they try and replicate it, then they give Granny or me a phone call or an Instagram message saying, Help! Yeah, we're fucked. Like, pretty I'm much, like, there's no money. better way of putting it. Yeah. That's right. And, and like I said, neuroscience before... I don't want people to do that. Yeah, you know, I'm more than happy to yeah. yeah help people out and you know do all these different things before you get to that stage. But please stop watching YouTubers that pick up a camera when they've sold two things on eBay or probably haven't even sold anything on eBay mm. yet and start dictating to you through the camera what you should be picking up and what you should yeah. be selling because they haven't they haven't they haven't I can't remember what it is but they haven't basically they haven't earned their stripes yet. I think I think yeah. that's probably the best yeah. way you could. Yeah, yeah, and the other, the other side so. of that too is too, um, Josh that the the ones that are uh, watching American YouTubers. And, look, it's, it would be much easier for 
a reseller over there to actually make reselling a, a full-time living from reselling because they've got mm. so many more people to sell to in a short distance. And, yes, we can sell internationally and we do, but we're reliant on eBay allowing us to, like, you know, whether they open our I, – I mean, I'll go for a period of time where I'm getting no international sales and then all of a sudden I'll get two or three. So it's like they're yeah. turning the tap on and off for overseas – and you can't guarantee that that's on all the time. No, and, and yeah, and that's exactly right. Plus, you've got all the other platforms you've got over there as well, and the yep. lower cost of living. So, yeah, if you're living in California, for example, then you're like, hey, well, I can't sustain my reselling from here because it's too expensive to live here. You can go live where Kevin mm. is, and you know, like that really cheaper area to to move from. Like mm. pretty much in Australia, it's it's pretty expensive all across the board, right? Yeah. Like, you, yeah, you, you're pretty much screwed in that respect. And like I said, that's not to say that everyone won't make it, but a vast majority will. Yeah, yeah. won't make it. And um. You know, like going onto Facebook groups, you can go on a Facebook group now. Like if you from if you're from the UK, if you're from America, if you're from Australia, go into your local reseller group, like or your eBay group, and you will probably scroll down maybe one or two posts, and you will find, hey, look, I haven't had any sales on eBay, or yeah. how much can I sell this for, or is this you know authentic, and all these different things. Like I said before, if you want to authenticate someone or something, do not go to those groups go to dedicated yeah. groups on reddit go to dedicated group on facebook yeah that deals with that exclusively because yeah. you know i could have a guess then like i said before is that i'll speak with some sort of authority then all of a sudden you take that and then you're selling a 200 dollars coffee cup with chips and you think it's fantastic you think it's yeah. the second coming of christ but anyway <laughs> that's enough for my diatribe today <laughs> oh dear oh dear, dear. Oh, yeah kind of nice things i, I so, do have uh, to I do have to say that my, yeah, my, you know, stress levels have lowered substantially since I stopped going into those Facebook groups because I I was the same. I would go in there and, and you know, answer questions and things because people were asking questions and, and needed help. But then, oh, yeah, look, you know, more often than not they, yeah, if you were, oh, you, there's a difference between criticize, criticism and constructive criticism. But yeah. you're trying to give constructive criticism, but they can't accept it. Well, it's not even that. Like, like I said, that no one owns you anything, right? So, yeah, yeah. You, take it on face value. This guy, like, I know the comments in the comment section go be is that this guy was just boasting about what he did. Fantastic, right? Yeah, I have no problem with that. Yeah, like I said, I was just in one of those yeah. mood. I was in one of those moods where I'm like, saying, hey, look, I'm happy for you. Didn't write that. However, you know, you're potentially <laughs> opening yourself up for more heartache down the down the track, yeah. right? Because you've basically missed, you know, I'm not I'm not even a coffee cup collector. And you know, I could see straight away what it is from that perspective. Like I said, that you really, if you buy something and this is a collectible item, right? Um, not so much anymore. But yeah, you know, if you sell these, you know, if you pick it up from the, the op shop, maybe leave it for a day sitting on your desk, then go back to it with a fresh set of eyes when you're not as excited yeah. the next day. And look at it and go, oh, okay, well, I thought this one was a $200 one, but it's actually just the common one, which goes for $15. Yeah. So you're not you know, falling yourself or you're not fooling yourself into like a, a dopamine hit of what you've actually found that you're thinking it's like <laughs> infinitely better of what you're actually getting. Yeah, you know, if you need a dopamine yeah. hit, you know, hit up me and I oh, can uh, <laughs> <we're not finished laughs> get demonetized. Um, oh, dear. But, but what I'm saying is that, you know, if you do buy things and you do get something like really phenomenal at the thrift store or the garage sale or something like that, put it in the garage for overnight, come back the next day when you, you know, obviously all your blood sugar levels have you know, gone back to normal. You're, you're happy. You're not as, you know, elated as you are when you found the item. Yeah. Then look at it from that perspective because you will bring out the flaws. You will do all these different things. Well, You'll be more yes. of a better reseller. Yes. And look, <laughs> let's face it, you're buying used things. <laughs> There's a reason they're called used because someone has used them. And all right, some things may not have been used much, which is great. But everything, you know, all that comes at a cost. And you've got to you've got to make sure what you put in your description and you know that you take photos of those things. Like you know, I, I had a shirt the other day, and it's like brand new, which I'd mm. say it, it probably is. But there is on the back there's a discoloration in in part of the fabric, you know, which. If you wore a little jacket over it or a little vest over it, you know, and it's a really nice shirt, good brand and all that sort of stuff. So I've listed it, but I've taken a really close-up photo of that, you know, yeah. <clears throat> problem because think, people need to know that that's there. Yeah, and, and I think the best thing that I personally got out of that group that you mentioned a bit earlier is that, 
yeah, take your photo. Just say if you know well, I've got a, a shirt on me. Well, I'm wearing a shirt, but just say <laughs> if you got this problem right. Um, yeah, your first photo would be you know the, the photo nice and close yeah. and all these different things if you use photo room like i do you do all these different things but then you've got like a little discrepancy here right you got a little bit of a black smudge yeah. there your second photo should be the blemishes don't leave it to the last photo so when someone opens up okay hey cool i'm looking for a michelangelo yeah. soda open it up the second photo is basically saying hey mm. look this is the imperfections all these different things and pick the biggest imperfection don't choose Oh, there's a little black yes. smudge there. But, yeah, if you open the character out, he's missing his head and have that as the last photo or something along to that. Yeah. So that's what you really need to do. And like I said, use these Facebook groups. Yeah, if you're after a circle jerk and all these different things, and I know people are going to probably come after me for my language this one, but go to – go find a – yeah, join a 34.99 a month group because that's pretty much where yeah. you're going to get that from, right? But if you are on a, a, you know, a reselling group, you should be using that as a free resource to get better for your business. You know, yes. like – Use that as an opportunity to ask people that, you know, like I'm not going to say myself or Grumpy Granny, but ask people that are more experienced in that realm. Like I said, that because we we, and I've said before, and you know, we've walked away from those places. So people that do have knowledge in particular items, we're sick of people like you know talking over us or you know you know like group think in that respect and yeah John Flipper should know better as yeah I'm sorry Tori but come on mate yes. <laughs> like yeah. yeah it's not it's not a popularity contest you know when you really if yeah. you're after trying to improve people's businesses or their way of life you should be really you yeah, know picking them up on those different things so hey look yeah it's fantastic yeah. you bought that but have a closer look of what you're actually got listed as actually got the yeah. chips and stuff like maybe that. those people I, that I, were saying he would how good he it was maybe they were just trying to be saboteurs so that they could um talking down on price then they could jump yeah. in buy it and then flip it for themselves well there's actually one um that's currently running on auction at the moment um for 85 dollars and i'm keeping an eye on that because i'm gonna buy yeah. it, and flip it. <laughs> if it keeps around the same <laughs> price so yeah like i said on yeah. friday night this is a bit of retail arbitrage right so this is what you should yeah. be looking out for um so this one here is an infinitely better color Can, does that come up does that pop up screen? yes, oh, okay. yes. Oh, yeah there it does so this one's better right so this one's currently mm -hmm. Um, I've gone through this one. I'm pretty sure I didn't see any chips or very minor chips in comparison, right? So mm. if this one goes for, it's currently, I think it's 85 bucks plus 10 bucks mm. postage or something like that. Um, you can even see you it's can... gloss. You can even see it's still got its nice gloss on it, whereas the yeah. other one doesn't. Like this it's, one's yeah. faded, that's right. Mm. Yeah, this one probably does have some imperfections, right? Well, it doesn't even look like it's got any. No, it doesn't yeah, look like it's, it's got fair. any, but it's, no. yeah. Yeah, but what I would do is, yeah, like, you know, further onto the topic we discussed on Friday night, is this is retail, retail, eBay, re, uh, eBay arbitrage or retail arbitrage, right? <laughs> realistically, if you go to a thrift shop and you buy something, you know, that's arbitrage, right? Like realistically, yeah. and I would, you know, all these different things. So there's nothing stopping you to go on eBay. And I know a lot of YouTubers yep. do. They go basically go look for things that they know back to front and snipe these different things off, you know, and, this guy, by pissing me off, has actually alerted me to another bolo now, which are these coffee cups, because someone might list yeah. one for 20 bucks, not knowing what they have, because they're just going, oh, oh. I'll put it on eBay for 20 bucks. I don't know how eBay works. I don't look at sold comps. I don't know. Look at listings. I'll just put it on eBay under the, the magazines category, because that's what you do. Yeah. Um, <laughs> then, you know, someone, someone like me or someone else that, you know, watches this channel will jump in, buy it, then put it back on eBay for 170, 180 bucks, 200 yeah. bucks, something like that. So, oh, yeah. like I said, look. Grumpy Granny's been known to buy the odd item and on mainly mm. on auction because you know if they if their listing price is low enough because you have to take postage into account of course and uh, yeah. yeah I mean I, I did get some and they they I've kind of they're per, they're for personal use I guess I like to look at them on my bookshelf and I may have priced them up extremely high on eBay if someone gives me that money they can go but otherwise I'm going to enjoy them as they are, uh, yes, because I got three books and I was, so I was able to combine the postage all of the same mm. person who had them all, all up for auction and I was the only bidder. So, yeah, score me. Yeah, well, that's right. And you always look, and like I said before, with Dixon flannel shirts, right? Like I used to buy a lot of Dixon flannel shirts. I probably wouldn't recommend it now because it's kind of like got a bit soft. Um, always keep an eye on if you are buying a product like Dixon, for example, Dixon is primarily just say maybe a level above a family business. Yeah, there's someone that you know probably classes himself as a bit of a social media star that runs the business, right? He's gone off the rails a little what bit. Social right? media star, <laughs> like me. Yeah, yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't yeah, say yeah. that. I was thinking he's he probably is like you, self-professed 
social media star, right? <laughs> um, but he's gone off the rails a little bit from what I can gather, right? So if you go into these Reddit, Reddit groups and you go into Facebook groups that deal with this particular line, it's okay. always saying, hey, look, Grumpy Granny, Grumpy Granny's done this now and they're always shaking their heads and stuff along this. So there's no real separation between what this person's done from a business perspective and his product, mm. right? And because he's gone yeah. off the reservation and being a bit of an idiot, his product's suffering. So, yeah, yeah. it's almost extensive, you know, if you are doing your own brand label, you're doing all these different things. And going back to what this is saying as well is that you really, really need to keep yourself a really clean image from that perspective. Mm. And, you know, if, obviously, if you are going to inject yourself into your customers and become a, a stakeholder, yeah. they, you know, they like that product because they like you by extension, yeah. that all of a sudden you yeah. start disagreeing with them or picking fights with them. I don't know the specifics, right? But that in itself has, like, really dampened the, the mm. Dixon line from what I've gathered. Yes, so, it, it's... Nowhere near what it was, you know, not even that long ago, really. No, mm. so, like I said, I was using this eBay rabbit. Oh, look, eBay, mm. uh, I said it again retail <laughs> arbitrage. arbitrage. Uh, yeah. yeah, arbitrage. It's always, I'm mean, always get called it what, what it is, but so retail <laughs> arbitrage. I would buy it from uh, the Australian store, then I would ship it over America and double my price, mm. right? So, literally, yep. I would sell it as it's in transit. So, I would make a 10 day postage time. So, I would order it from Dixon, get it sent to me, and normally arrive in five days then ship it out. And because the, it would arrive like maybe a week before eBay says it would, everyone's happy. Yeah. And like yeah. I said, I was making a little bit of money on like that. Yeah. A pretty decent. Um, yeah. But like I said, you really, really need to get into a niche like that and go from that perspective. But definitely, definitely, definitely do your research. Don't rely on people on Facebook groups. Don't rely on, yeah. you know, people telling you how fantastic you are and all these different things. I, if you are just promoting it and saying how fantastic it is and, they always need a Facebook group. I might even create a Facebook group just dedicated to people that want to have a circle jerk. <laughs> just saying yeah, how, good, yeah. how good I am and fantastic. Look, look at my item and all these different things. Mm, um, yeah. yeah. Almost like, yeah. Uh, yeah, I think too, one of the things that people do not probably do often enough <laughs> is keep your eyes peeled. People that are doing reselling, and I don't think like in, in a lot of categories, keep your eyes peeled and for what new movies or TV shows are coming out because so many products are associated with those things. So regardless of whether it's a book, you know, maybe there's a, a TV, sh a, a book that's, you know, an older book that's been now turned into a TV series, you know, that book's going to be now wanted. So keep your eyes peeled for that and what's coming up on the streaming services and, you know, movies and stuff. And I, and I said the exact same thing a couple of weeks ago regarding Deadpool and, Xbox and PlayStation 4, right? So the Deadpool game, you can only get it via physical copy at this stage. Um, Deadpool movie, like it was probably going for about $100 before the Deadpool movie came out. Deadpool movie came out and went out to that two, 250 So mm. that's something you need to be very mindful of. And like I said, I had the copy probably about 12 months ago. I wasn't going to hold on it for 12 months just to make that extra $100 done yeah. because you know, I could probably flip it and do something else before mm. then. But if you had found it in the op shop, you would have been, you know, perfect. So yeah, you need to trawl yeah. Facebook groups and you know, all those different things to be make sure you get all these different things. But before yeah. we wrap up, Granny, what do you got coming out this week? Um, so I'm probably going to be this week. Yeah, there'll be just my usual lives that I'm doing with the um, Wednesday night with John. I do the 15 minute quickie with John, and then Thursday morning is my reseller news one, and then there will be uh, a drop of the book club recording, which is about how to sell vinyl records. That was a really good mm. one that will be going up on my main channel. And there may be another one in there. I don't know yet if I'll get around to it. But yeah. I'll be putting a lot of energy and effort into my Let's Read Granny channel because that has been going great guns. And so I've been, um, I'm at the moment, I'm making a techno version of um, Grumpy Granny Had a Farm. So that's something to look forward well, to, isn't that's it? Good. That's right. That's yeah. exactly right. So that, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm glad that you're you know, pursuing those because, like I said before, is that reselling is good and, and all those different things, but the audience is quite capped, right? Like, but when you, you branch out into different things, you can get a bit bigger audience from that perspective. And, yeah, yeah like you said but earlier, it's going to turn into another stream of income eventually. Yeah. You know, that yeah. You'll have another thing to do. If eBay is slow, you just punch another couple of books out and then you probably get you know, more eBay oh, – sorry, YouTube revenue further down yeah. the road. So, like I said, please, if you are reselling, I don't particularly care if you're doing it for, for shits and giggles or you wanted to go full-time further down the road. Um Reach out to either of us. Reach out to a full-time reseller that will actually probably get back to you. Like <laughs> that's a swipe at someone that um, <laughs> probably Tori and Graham know who I'm talking about. Um, you know, if you if you are looking at going full-time 
um, please, 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 to people that actually are full time or have been full time. Yeah. Just don't get, don't fall into that group thing, thing like yeah, that Facebook group where you know full time is fantastic, full time is fantastic, and all those different things. Get different perspective, all those different things. Yeah. Let me know in the comment section below on my channel, Granny's channel, and the podcast channel because we're releasing this fiftieth ep episode across all three channels. Um, what is yeah, you know, what your goal is for you recently. It could be paying down okay. debt. It could be paying, you know, a family holiday or, you know, putting your kids in private school or, uh, or you or you particularly want to invest or you want to make another line of income or what I don't particularly care what you want to do, but I'm quite curious to see yeah. if people have thought down that path, you know, and let me know by all means if I was right or wrong. I I'm kind of scared to ask this but in my response to old mate, you know, like I said, that my personal stance is that these really selling groups aren't, friend zones right they're not where you go to your pub yeah. and show people what yeah you, your kids photos on your phone all these different things this is, should be treated as a business venture it should be treated as like a networking opportunity uh not so much like just to show, show people what you you picked up and all these different things by all means you can ask questions about what pricing all these different things after you've done your own research um but yeah and look i will say that uh if you're constantly putting up oh look i got this i got that and you're not actually showing what you're selling People do get a bit peeved off. And yes, also, right. people get peeved off when if you're constantly getting shown stuff all the time and you're not able to access any of that sort of stuff, they start to get a bit annoyed with that too, I think. Yeah, and like I said, the, it, it, kind of, <laughs> it, it kind of shows you the maturity level of some people. It's like, hey, he, he, he hurt my feelings, so I'm going to block him. Mm. But I'm, block, I'm blocked from... Yeah any communication from this guy in future, right? So realistically, yeah, and I don't, it might seem otherwise, but I don't particularly care. I'm getting over it, all right? I'm getting over it. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Are you, what, you're not blocked from the group yet, though, are you? No, no, not yet, not yet. Yeah, I did my, say yes. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Despite my best efforts. But Brad Kane's the, um, one of the moderators, so I'll just suck up. Oh, well, you'll be right, then. <laughs> yeah, you'll be right. But, yeah, um, yeah. but coming back to it is that... Um, yeah, if he asks a question about Skylanders, and yeah, there's only two people in that group that know Skylanders as well as I do, and he's blocked mm. both of them. <laughs> so, it, you know, like you really shot yeah. yourself. That's right. But, shot yeah, himself like, in the foot learn. there, yes. People learn, because like I said, that give it a week, I probably won't even remember. I don't even remember the guy's name now. Like I keep thinking of David <laughs> Norton for some reason, but I definitely know it's not David. <laughs> but, um, but hey, David, how you going, mate? Um, but yeah, like I said, that always challenge youtubers challenge anyone that puts out they sell this much right like like i said that yeah. you know you can pretty much take my flipwise figures as much as you can because i put everything in there um you know like i don't give people a hard time unless they say hey look i make a hundred thousand yeah. dollars a year and say okay where's your figures to substantiate that yeah you know, people like yeah you know, chris furlong people like you know two aussie thrifters they do do a breakdown from that perspective right yeah and i'm quite content with that like because I don't care one way or another if they're fudging their figures or not because to me it's a lot harder to fudge your figures than to actually repeat them <laughs> once. It takes a lot of um, effort to do that, you know. Yeah, but but other people like you know Judder and Wayno and all these different things, they just keep quiet. They just say, "Hey, look, yeah, I'm, yeah, this is for me doing my own thing," and that's fine. Like like yeah. I said, they're not. Yeah, they might tell you what a bolo is and all these different things. That's fantastic, yeah. but they're not trying to push you down the path of yeah. you know, making millions and millions and millions of dollars. So be very, very mindful of what people are actually telling you on YouTube, what people are telling you in Facebook groups, because they're just trying to, yeah, they're trying to impress imaginary friends. <laughs> Look, that's what it really yeah. comes down to, imaginary Except for if friends, they're in so. Grumpy Granny's Discord channel, because that's really good. <laughs> in, that's, really good. that's right. Everybody's really that. nice in there, and they're all very helpful. So there you go. That's right. Well, you guys think across there, and I'm pretty sure that Leanne will put the the Discord link in the video description on her channel. I don't have it anymore. Um, but anyway, I think we've had enough. But thank you very much for 50 episodes in the in the sink or down the drain, as you probably could. Uh, we have pissed a lot yeah. of people off over the over the, the period of those 50 Even episodes. some international we, people. <laughs> that's right. Well, I think we started with pissing off international people. but Yeah, we did. But mm. we've also made some you know, phenomenal friendships, you know, people that yeah. I'd actually you know, speak to on a daily basis, like Blake. You know, big shout out to Blake from uh, when his little stint there came in. Um, yeah, Graham, a resident um, fanboy or otherwise. Yes, yes. Um, yeah, so you know, like I said, I really appreciate all those people that watch and all those people put up. Um, like I said, we, we pretty much run this show to be a bit of a bit of fun, a bit of banter, a bit of business, if you will, if you can know where I'm going with this, Leah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, um, yes, yes. Actual, actual banter, though, oh, like actual oh, banter. Oh. Yeah. Actual banter though, because I don't know if banter. they know the definition. That's what this I don't is, know if they yes. know the definition. I don't know if they know the definition of banter. No, they don't know the definition. Yeah. With... 
They don't know the definition of uh, having a good sound in your micro- out of your no, microphone no, either. It's all fine. It's, it's so. much of a joke. But it does take a lot of effort to do this on YouTube. And look at our very first episodes. Like, we were still bad. And, yeah, the ones oh. I've just taken the piss out of there, they, they like, got off their – like, Leanne may think different, but I think they are fantastic with how far they've come in a very short period of time. Yeah, because yeah. up to about, you know, maybe three episodes ago, I was – I'm oh, probably am pretty shit still, <laughs> but yeah, they, they always came off the ground running pretty, uh, pretty well in that respect. So, I, although I will say, watching back some of the old episodes, there are some. Th- we are funny sometimes, if nothing else, we can be entertaining. That's right. We we don't know what we're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, before we cause any uh, more international um, or what about you, domestic- uh, Minion Day? Well, apart from being, you know. Whipped by the octopus. What's Octo got on this week? Well, he's making me work Thursday night because apparently he's going on a, a family holiday on Friday. So the, the drop shipping live will be on Thursday night. If you caught the retail arbitrage one, check that out if you haven't already. Uh, I did drop some, uh, I suppose, bolos if you're in the States of definitely things you want to be keeping an eye out for. Um, the drop shipping one, I'll probably give you a bit of an idea on how to do some ethical drop shipping um, from that perspective as well. Doesn't necessarily align with what eBay says, but yeah, you know, like I said, this is how people do it on that. So choose your, adventure. choose your own adventure. I don't particularly care. Um, yeah. yeah, a lot of people use this kind of system if, in their own private websites, like through Shopify and all these different things. Um, but like I said, I'll, I'll show you because there's been a lot of demand for that. Hey, show me how to drop ship. So yeah, I'm going to show you. Don't I don't condone it. So if you, anything happens, please don't account <laughs> me. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've had enough. Right. We were supposed to finish half an hour ago, but we'll yes. um, call it here. But um, we'll put the video up, up tonight, so it'll pretty much release on the Sunday um, on my channel about 8 o'clock, whenever Leanne puts it up on her channel, um, and then on the podcast channel on a Tuesday. Yeah. But we will probably see you sometime through the week. But thank you again very much for, for pu- tuning in. and uh, Putting up with us for 50 episodes. That's exactly right. We've... Um, Hopefully we've made as many friends as we're pissed off along the way. <laughs> but anyway, on that note, we'll uh, we'll see you probably again next week, maybe. I don't know. Well, it depends on what time I'm back on the Sunday. But anyway, we'll see you next time. Bye.